What's going on, people? Jada Black here. I am back with another video. You know, I, I made a couple of videos about LaShawn McCoy. This situation is getting more and more messy. Uh, this is the, this is the prime example, okay? Why women, why they can't get in relationships or get married anymore? Because a lot of men just don't trust women. They want to keep women at a distance, and that's probably a good thing because what LaShawn McCoy is going through is the prime example of why a lot of men are going their own way. A lot, a lot of men are steering clear of certain women. No matter if the woman is a black woman, a biracial woman, a white woman, most westernized women have something wrong with them. Looking at this situation, here you have LaShawn McCoy's baby's mother, who he has a six-year-old son from, She's filing paperwork because they're supposed to have a custody hearing in November. She's filing paperwork to add to the lawsuit that uh, LaShawn is dealing with with Delicia Cord and the woman who refused to leave his house, who was beaten up during a robbery and finally had to leave the house. Now she's suing him because she had to leave that house. And she's putting these new photos into the paperwork, trying to gain sympathy because that's the only way these females can make a living is through sympathy. And now that the baby's mother, she's mad because LaShawn doesn't want her. And she's using conversations that they had after this robbery in order to, I don't know what she thinks she's gonna, I guess she wants full custody. She wants his son to permanently be with her and not spend any time with him, which is what it looks like. And, and, and you got women who want to come to me and act like this is a minority. No, this happens a lot, whether you are a celebrity or not. Now, according to TMZ Sports, LaShawn McCord's baby mama claims the NFL star used their son as a pawn in order to vouch for his character. So she shoot down Rumors he was involved in a home invasion that left another of McCoy, uh, McCoy's baby mamas brutally beaten. You'll recall uh, McCoy's home was hit in a home invasion back in July that left ex-girlfriend Delicia Corden almost unrecognizable because she was so badly beaten. Corden and others insinuated McCoy may have orchestrated the attack because he allegedly wanted uh, Corden out of the house. Corden has since filed a lawsuit against LaShawn. Look how that looks, people. The man wanted you out of the house. You refused to go. Then there's a home invasion in July. Since that home invasion, no charges have been brought. There has been no witnesses. Nobody has come forward. And you're still pinning it on this guy. Either LaShawn McCoy is a is a very good criminal, he's a very good mastermind, or this was just a bad situation. Because this woman didn't want to leave that house because she did not want to leave him. Okay? She thought that if she stayed in that house, he would change his mind and want to stay with her. Now you got the baby's mother who's filing paperwork because she still wants him to come back to her and he never will. These women are scorned. The fact that this Delicia chick is, is taking old photos of her face and seeing it into the documents to seek sympathy shows all these women have a mental illness. As far as Delicia, uh, Corden is concerned he wanted you out of the house a year ago you refused to go you refused to go and the thing is this that just shows there's a mental illness there and then you got people who want to defend her who are going to come to me and say well she has a business she makes money well why she can't get her own house the woman was homeless she didn't have no place to go she wasn't making no money. She needed him. This is why she's filing a lawsuit. She wanted his jewelry because she couldn't afford her own jewelry. And she wanted to stay in this house because she wanted to keep up a facade. 
On Tuesday, McCoy's baby mom and Stephanie Mazinet filed new docs in the court and lawsuit. Mazinet claims the day after the home invasion, she overheard LaShawn on the phone saying, I need to get this bitch out of my house. Still doesn't prove anything. This could have been last year. This could have been two years. This could have been a year and a half ago. Could have been eight months ago. Doesn't mean he's had anything to do with it. Maisonette says after the attack on Corden, LaShawn called her something he didn't often do and offered her a deal. Maisonette claims McCoy told her if she publicly support his character and insinuate he wasn't behind the attack, he'd roll over in the custody case with their six-year-old son and let her enroll the child in school in Miami. Maisonette says she allowed a friend of McCoy's to access her Instagram account and post a positive message about the NFLer. Yeah, right. A friend. In the docs obtained by TMZ Sports, Maisonette says she believes LaShawn has abused their son on multiple occasions, even making a report with child services. Concludes, she concludes, I regret ever agreeing to help LaShawn McCoy in this case. I feel like I'm sending our son to a monster every two weeks. She also included a photo of their son showing alleged bruises from LaShawn on his face. Let me tell you something about this situation. This is this is exactly why this female right here, she she is a dysfunctional thizzot. And I'm gonna tell you why. She was okay with him abusing her son when he was keeping him, when he was giving her money probably taking on vacation still sleeping with her but why are you gonna wait to now to also to, to want to take him to court over this why because you're the, the custody hearing is coming up the timing is impeccable so she wants she wants to do is she wants to use this lawsuit that this female is going to end up losing or he's going to end up just settling out of court and she wants to use it in order to gain more in custody. These women are, this, these women have no shame. You're telling me that you were good with your son being abused? Really? You were sending him to a monster every two weeks, but you were okay with it. <laughs> you, th this female gets no sympathy for me. Th this woman is probably a terrible mother because what happens is people project who they are onto other people. And that's exactly what it seems like she's doing. This woman, Stephanie Mazinet, is projecting how she treats her son onto LaShawn McCord. Because it's very rare that you hear about a father having his child and his child getting abused by the stepmom in that situation. But you hear a lot about how women allow their boyfriends to abuse their kids, to assault their kids. That happens a lot, okay? And what it seems to me is that she saw a bruise on her son's face, because let me tell you something, my, my nephews bruise each other up all the time. They like to fight each other, like to run around. Doesn't mean that uh, their mother, which is my sister, is putting her hands on them. Doesn't mean their father is putting their hands on them. It just means that you have kids who are rough. They may bruise easily. And my, my nephew's a little lighter skinned, but anyway. You're telling me you were good with this. Why did you wait now to when your custody hearing is in November to say something? You, you ain't shit either. You and Dolish ain't shit. She can post as many photos as she wanted. She chose to stay in that house. It is what it is. And you still don't have a shred of evidence that LaShawn McCoy has done anything. And if evidence comes out, I will make a response video. But until then, this is speculation. This is two bitter women that are trying to cash out on a black man, okay? There's something wrong with these women. Something is wrong with them. You telling me you allowed your son to get beat? You sat up there and you, you vouched for him so you can get more power in the custody hearing like it doesn't make sense to me you women have no shame you have no honor no respect not for yourself or for anybody else never judge a woman by her looks because a lot of these attractive women are crazy
especially not y'all can get mad all you want to but there's something seriously wrong with these biracial chicks that y'all see on instagram all of that there's something wrong with them <laughs> there's something wrong with them look at rich the kid rich the kid was involved in a home invasion at his girlfriend's house his girlfriend got beat up worse than he did seemed like they just got hit in the face with a gun looked it bad and they're at her house so whose fault is that do you want to so rich a kid a uh, sue her and her sister for his injuries <laughs> i mean this seems to me like a situation of two bitter women one you know what's funny is that delicia cordon would have put up with any type of behavior from LaShawn if LaShawn would have let her stay there the same thing with this baby's mother she's probably single can't keep a man can't get a man on the level of LaShawn so every time he gets in a situation like this she's gonna pop her head out there and she's gonna insinuate things and throw things out there because her life sucks well, ma'am, you chose to have a child with that quote unquote monster and y'all are trying to ruin his careers. Let me tell you something. This is exactly why women are way too emotional, because if LaShawn McCoy gets cut and can't get a job in the NFL, how is he going to pay child support? Heffa? How is he going to pay child support? How are you going to get those nice things if you can't afford it? The same thing with Alicia Corden. How you gonna win any lawsuit if he ends up getting released because you two heavens are so emotional and you're hurt because you got rejected, both of you. No matter how you look, you still got rejected. He don't wanna sleep with you. He don't want you anymore. Leisha Corden has a couple of kids by different men. And you got people that want to defend her saying that she has her own money, she has businesses. Why she wouldn't get out of his house? Why is she so heavily dependent on this guy? No matter how attractive these women look, they're crazy. Something is wrong with them. And this is proof of it. You do have to be very careful who you have children with. These women are bitter, they're scorned. This woman is posting one picture of a bruise on his chin. I've never seen an abused child with a bruised chin. I've seen childs with blackened eyes and blackened jaws or, or you know, uh, with facial injuries from getting hit or uh, from getting beat with switches or belts or whatever. Like with uh, Adrian Peterson's son. You know they were accusing him of abuse because he was beating his son with a belt but but there's no there's nothing of that in here this just seems like two women that ain't got nothing to do ain't got no no employment ain't doing nothing but sitting up here trying to milk this brother for all he's worth and he still is not charged with anything there's no criminal charges this is why this delicia cordon immediately went to sue him and let me tell you this the reason why she knows that, she, that he didn't do it is because she's suing him. She's not really even pursuing criminal charges like that. She's pursuing money charges. She wants to charge money. She wants to charge credit cards. <laughs> she wants to charge credit cards. She ain't trying to get no charges on him. That's how desperate they are, man. Who would want to wipe these chicks, man? You have, if you are a sane man, and you have to look at this and say, I'm glad I don't deal with those, those women. But there are a lot of women like this. There's a, there's a lot of brothers every day that's dealing with women like this that are so attached they can't get apart from them. And that's what you see in this situation. And it's a shame because a child is involved but she claims that he's using his child to gain sympathy, not sympathy, but to, you know, help his, uh, his credibility, but you're using your child to get money, get a freaking job. Now you may have one, but that child also needs to be in the father's life. 
you can't wait to now to all of a sudden say he's abusing your son. You should have been taught. You should have been said something. The fact that you're waiting now to say something lets me know that you ain't shit either. And I'm not saying that LaShawn McCoy is the best guy. I'm not saying he's a perfect guy. That he has never done wrong. Obviously, he got with these two chicks. So, obviously, that was one of the wrongs that he did. <laughs> but y'all let me know what you think in the comment section below, man. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think.